Jacksepticeye. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and thank you so much for getting the channel to 15 million subscribers. Holy hell, that's a lot of people. Who would have ever thought in all the years I'd be doing YouTube that the channel would ever get to 15 million? Because I certainly didn't. Who are, who are the, the raise of hand? Ah, oh, liars. Nobody would have thought that because it's fucking nuts. Uh, and I know I say thank you a lot and I know I do the same types of milestone vlogs over and over again. But it's only because I really want you guys to know how much I appreciate everything you do for me. Um, I know if saying it too much can come across as like, yeah, we get it, you, you said this last time, but seriously, I do still mean it every single time one of these things happens because I'm just flabbergasted by the fact that I still get to do YouTube. Like, it's a fucking miracle that I get to do YouTube in general at all. That this is the type of thing that I get to do. That I get to sit down and talk to a camera and so many loving and caring people sit there and actively listen and watch this stuff every single day. Uh, some of you make it part of your daily routine all the time and you never miss an upload and that's so cool. I can't thank any of you enough for everything you've done for me. Um, all I can do is really hope that I'm doing you guys proud and that everything I upload is entertaining. You think that I'd be getting good at this by now? That after so many subscribers and years of doing it and milestones and all the videos I've uploaded that somehow I'd be some sort of expert on all of this by now, but nope. Still, still going along day by day trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Um, but it's great to have a community there that supports what I'm doing and sometimes I mess stuff up and sometimes I don't do things perfectly and it's great as well that, uh, I don't know, that there's this air around me that makes people feel like they don't have to walk on eggshells that you feel like if I do something wrong that you can criticize that or if I do something terrible that you can actually speak up about it not everyone pledges unfledging loyalty to the Jacksepticeye name for just because it's Jacksepticeye or anything like that and that's really cool and that's really healthy I think it's a really important part of doing YouTube because as I said before and I, I keep saying for as long as I do YouTube is that if you surround yourself with people who just say yes all the time and that you're just listening to people who agree with you all the time and you ignore everybody else. Like people say ignore the haters. But sometimes, sometimes the haters have good things to say. Sometimes the haters have actual valid criticism to input. And if I just ignore them then what am I left with? Just an echo chamber of people who agree with me and an ego the size of fucking uh, Jamaica. I don't know, I was trying to think of a place and Jamaica was in my brain for some reason. <laughs> Love you Jamaica! But seriously, it's great to have that sort of open-minded community and that back and forth. I keep saying this all the time as well, is that this is a two-way street. That I do things, you're allowed to say stuff back, I'm allowed to say stuff back and in this sort of... In this sort of cycle of listening to each other, we all like learn what's going on and we all get on the same page and... It's so important to just listen to each other, especially in this day and age where people like the outrage culture where if you don't agree with me, I'm blocking you on Twitter, I'm not listening to you anymore. And again, that comes back to the whole echo chamber type of thing because I'm, I'm not perfect and I'm not arrogant enough to sit down and not listen to other people's opinions and try and change my own and open up my mind to the possibility that sometimes I might be wrong. I can maybe be frank with you guys for a minute, if, you, if you'll allow me to just somber out the mood a small bit. I know I talk a lot about positivity and I talk a lot about joy and sharing your energy with people and trying to make people happy all the time and everyone should just be nice to each other and I do truly believe in that but I also I'm also very much aware that the world is not a perfect place I'm not sitting here to preach positivity to try and just make all your troubles go away I know the world can be a very shitty place for a lot of people I'm very privileged to be in the position that I'm in I'm very I'm very very lucky to be able to do what I do day after day but not a lot of people are. And some people go to YouTube as some sort of stop away from their lives. And if I can be any sort of any sort of joy or positivity in a in a day full of shit, in a sea full of darkness, then that will bring me so much happiness. If I can just distract you away from the world for five minutes, twenty minutes, however long each day. As I said before, I will consider what I do a success. Because nobody is perfectly happy all the time. Nobody is at 11 all the time. Not even me. Even though that that might come across in my videos all the time and everyone always asks me, how are you so positive? How do you remain so positive? And in my videos, I feel like there's a responsibility there to share some sort of joy with the world. And not in any sort of fake way, not in any sort of forced way to be like, hey, be happy or else. It's more of a case of trying to show you the best of me. 
So if you want to live vicariously through that and you want to go along on this journey and feel happy and just, as I said, distract yourself away from the world for five minutes, then so be it. That would be amazing. And when I get in here and I make these videos in this, I guess you could call it like my little safe space, that I feel like I'm the best version of myself when I make my content. So I don't want it to ever come across that I'm I'm being fake or I'm pandering for your attention. I, I, I work very hard at what I do and I try to give you guys a good time and I try to entertain you. So again, if I can distract you then or if I can just bring any sort of joy into your life. If you're already happy, then maybe I can just add to that. But if you're having a tough day, then hopefully I can distract you away from that tough day for any length of time, just so you can forget about it and have some entertainment and have some fun. Because I get a lot of people who come to me about different mental states and different mental issues and different traumas that they've gone through. Some people have depression, some people have bipolar, some people have tried to kill themselves, some people are thinking about killing themselves. And that's a lot to take in for any one person. And there's a lot of people telling me these things all the time and I, I truly empathize with them. And I try my best to listen out to everybody and take everybody seriously and listen to whatever you're going through. And I definitely take it very seriously and I definitely try and get that across and try and make you feel safe while you're here and that I, I actually am some sort of a friend to you. But at the same time, I do want to put it out there that I am not a cure for everything. I, I can distract you away from these problems and I can make you feel some sort of joy. I did hear some person told me before, actually a few people told me that you made me smile when nothing else could. And that is like the biggest compliment I think I can get for the work that I do. But at the same time, there's this thing in the back of my mind that's saying, this is not, I, I'm not the cure for depression. I'm not the cure for suicide or anything like that. I would love to be. I would love to somehow have some sort of magical power that would make all that go away. I, I can make you happy in a short period of time, but at the same time, a lot of these are very serious issues that will persist beyond what I do on YouTube. So I do want to put that out there as well, that there is help beyond my videos for those types of things. So I think that on a deep down base level, we all have this innate feeling to be liked. We all want to be liked. Even the grouchiest, staunchiest person on the internet who's like, I don't give a shit about that. Even they want to be liked. Uh, on some level we all do. We all want to feel that validation that what we're doing is something important or what we're doing with our lives is not a waste. And we want to know if other people feel the same way. And again, we're all just people, man. We're all on this big hunk of dirt together, flying through space around a big ball of fire. Like, <laughs> when you start thinking about stuff like that, it really puts everything into perspective. And a lot of the problems I've had over the last year is like, really small things, and I try to put that in perspective always, that I started off with fucking nothing. And then I'm, again, it's just a miracle that I'm able to do this at all, so I kind of just sit back and be like, you know what? Okay, yeah, maybe this isn't the end of the world for me. And in all of this all together, like, no, no one can do this alone. Nobody can, like, spread joy to every single person on the planet. Nobody is perfect. We all need somebody out there to help us. And you guys are out there helping me, and hopefully in some regard I can help you as well and give give something back for everything that you've done for me and all the all the times you've watched what I do and give me feedback and laughed at the silly jokes I make or anytime I live stream and you show up and just hang out and talk to me it's it's really cool and I'm really happy about that and I, I can't thank you enough there's also this aspect of YouTube that now that the channel is huge like 15 million subscribers is pretty damn big and it's it's quite a substantial channel and it's kind of scary in its own right but also, with that comes a lot of responsibility and a lot of weight is thrust upon your shoulders. And the same with anybody with a strong social media influence or any sort of strong following on the internet. It doesn't even have to be 15 million. Um, a couple of thousand is also quite a large following on the internet. And with that comes a huge responsibility. And whether you want it or not, whether you think you deserve it or not, doesn't really matter. The responsibility is there. And I've always been an advocate to do good things with that. Like, not try and use that for any sort of personal gain, not use it for any sort of like scummy tactics or anything like that. I always want to try and give back. And I know sometimes I haven't always done that and sometimes I try and it doesn't always succeed, but I'm always trying to give back some sort of form of entertainment or joy or positivity or happiness or some sort of advice, inspiration, anything at all. Anything that I can give, I try to give. And in a lot of my YouTube career, I've been sort of naive and childish with a lot of things that I still considered myself like an up-and-comer and there was all these bigger YouTubers that I looked up to and 
I, I'd like still looked up to them and still respect them and everything, of course, but instead of seeing them as contemporaries, a lot of the times I would sit back and be like, oh God, they're so much better at this than I am. And sort of have like this lack of confidence in what I'm doing. And I, I think it's about time that I try and change that and stop being so childish and naive about everything. Because I, I would always wait for other YouTubers to do things. I would wait for somebody to do something cool and then be like, oh, that's a cool thing. Maybe I'll try that out or something like that. And I think it's about time I start trying to carve my own path properly. Um, not, not in any sort of pretentious or cocky way or anything like that. I, I'm still going to try and be humble and genuine about everything I'm doing and just bring you guys along on this journey. But I'm going to try and do things more for myself instead of relying on others to try and get me through a lot of what's going on. And believe in myself a lot more. And I think that that's really important as well, that some people have been giving me really good advice this year to just believe in what you're doing. Um, and I've always agreed with this as well, is that people can see through pandering a mile away. That if you're doing something just because you think that's what people want to hear, or you're saying stuff because you think that's what your audience wants, people will see that a mile away. So be open, be genuine, be honest with people. And that's what I've always built this channel on, and hopefully it's still there, and hopefully you still believe me when I say that thank you, and that I, I love what I do, and I appreciate everyone who's here. And I'm not just saying it because I think that that's what you want to hear. There's still have a lot of growing to do, a lot of evolving, and a lot of learning, but that's exciting! Because it means that there's still stuff to do. And that I, I don't feel like I've peaked, that I, I want to try harder and I want to do cool things and like create new goals because it, it's very easy to be like, okay, I'm going to do YouTube, I'm going to get a lot of subscribers, going to get a lot of views. And then if that happens, you're like, shit, what do I do now? Where, where do I go from here? Um, so I think it's important to always set new goals for yourself and do as much as you possibly can. And I, I, I just want to work harder. And I think that this year is going to be a very, very big year for me. I know I said that last year as well, and I said that at the start of this year, but because I'm moving and because I'm doing all these different things and I'm trying new stuff on my own, it's very scary, but it's also really exciting because I cannot wait to dive into them and I cannot wait. Like even in my personal life, there's a lot of very adult things that I'm doing. So I think it's about time to accept the guy stop being a fucking boy and grew up and started doing things for himself and bring you guys along. And I think it's going to be a really fun time. But thank you guys for 15 million subscribers. Thank you always for the respect and understanding. And thank you for respecting each other. And being so open-minded and talking to each other all the time. Because I, I keep saying that as well. That's very important. And thank you for not getting some sort of like God complex ego of a community as well. That you don't think you're better than anybody else. That That's really important. And that's the messages that I always try and send. So it's, it's nice to see that that's sinking in. And people take that on board and go along with it. That's really cool. So... Thank you so much, but also, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in my face, like a boss, and high fives all around. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Let's see you. That all makes sense? Did I ramble again? Did I pass out and just start blathering? Hopefully there were some good messages in there. <laughs>